हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम हम हैं आपके होस्ट आपके दोस्त रॉय ये है दोस्तों राइजिंग पर्ल प्रेजेंटेशन सवाल जवाब नंबर नाइन आज बात कर रहे हैं दोस्तों सीरीज टू पॉलिनोमियल्स की नाउ स्पेसिफिकली आज के इस प्रेजेंटेशन uh, में दोस्तों वी आर गोट टॉक अबाउट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फैक्टर थियोरम सो फैक्टर थियोरम के ऊपर दोस्तों किस टाइप के क्वेश्चन आ सकती हैं एंड हाउ डू वी हैंडल दीज क्वेश्चन इसे हम कह रहे हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ द टू पार्ट्स इस पार्ट में दोस्तों वी आर गोट फोकस ऑन सम ऑफ द मोर ईजियर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट यू विल बी एबल टू सी फ्रॉम फैक्टर थियोरम पार्ट टू ऑफ टू में वी आर गोट टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द मोर डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन सो आइए दोस्तों चलिए लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट इट नाउ बिफोर वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग ऑन सम एग्जाम्पल सो लेट एस डू अक्विक रीक एप ऑफ फैक्ट थियोरम सो फैक्ट थियोरम दोस्तों इट स्टेट्स दैट इफ पी एक्स पी एनी पॉलिनोमियल जिसकी डिग्री इज इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू वन and let a be any real number then factor theorem states actually uh, it states uh, two things two things first is if pa is zero agar the polynomial the value of polynomial p at x equal to a at x equal to a agar ye zero hoti hai then we will say that x minus a is a factor of px so dosto basically what it means is chaliye ek uh, quickly let us write a polynomial सो मान लीजिए वी राइट समथिंग एज पी एक्स इक्वल टू लेट एस सी वी विल राइट समथिंग लाइक एक्स स्क्वे माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन मान लीजिए अगर ये हमारी पॉलिनोमियल है राइट एंड एंड अगर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल मान लीजिए पी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो and aap ise if you put if you find the value of polynomial p at x equal to 1 aap notice karoge ki this will be indeed equal to 0 so factor theorem though so what it states is agar px koi polynomial hai and pa in this case a is 1 so maan lijiye pa agar 0 hai so what factor theorem tells us is if this is if if these two conditions are true then x minus a or in this case 1 basically is a factor of px of polynomial px so x minus 1 is a factor of polynomial px so and, and the second point dosto that factor theorem tells us is that maan lijiye agar aapko hum abhi agar aap ise abhi ulta karke dekhte ho ki agar aapko diya jata hai x minus a is a factor of px agar it is given this way then what it means dosto is that pa must be equal to 0 राइट right? अगर हम आपको देते हैं इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग यू मान लीजिए p1 वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हम आपको देते हैं x माइनस वन इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ दिस पॉलिनोमियल इफ दैट इज इफ दैट इज करेक्ट दोस्तों देन इफ इफ दिस एंड दिस इज करेक्ट देन वी बेसिकली कैन से दैट p1 वन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो तो दिस इज वॉट बेसिकली द फैक्टर थियोरम इज टेलिंग अस ना दोस्तों वी आर टेक सम क्वेश्चन नाउ लाइक वी ऑलवेज डू इन द सवाल जवाब प्रेजेंटेशन Um, चलिए द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दोस्तों द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो आपको इस टॉपिक के ऊपर आ सकते हैं विल बी सिंपली आपको कहा जाएगा फैक्टराइज पॉलिनोमियल पी एक्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ना दोस्तों फैक्टराइजिंग पॉलिनोमियल आपको मालूम है कि अगर आप इफ नंबर्स के केस में अगर आपको टेन दी जाती है एंड आपसे कहा जाता है आप टेन को फैक्टर कीजिए सो यू कूड राइट टेन एज टू टाइम्स फाइव राइट सो आप कहोगे दीज आर टू फैक्टर्स ऑफ टेन करेक्ट सो सिमिलरली जब हम पॉलिनोमियल की फैक्टराइजेशन की बात कर रहे हैं हमारा हमारी जो एंड गोल है दैट इज टू राइट दिस पॉलिनोमियल पी एक्स एज ए प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू अदर पॉलिनोमियल्स राइट टू अदर फैक्टर्स व्हेन व्हेन दे आर मल्टीप्लाइड वी विल गेट पी एक्स ना एक चीज दोस्तों आप यू मस्ट बेसिकली बी कीपिंग इन माइंड इज दैट नाउ जब आप आपको क्वेश्चन फैक्टराइज पॉलिनोमियल दी जाती है आप देखोगे दोस्तों इन सम ऑफ द अदर प्रेजेंटेशन दैट वी आर गोट टॉक अबाउट देर आर डिफरेंट वेज एक्चुअली आप फैक्टराइजेशन कर सकते हो पॉलिनोमियल्स की सो फैक्टर थियोरम इज ओनली वन ऑफ द मेनी वेज इन विच यू कैन एक्चुअली डू फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल द सेकेंड अदर मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट मोस्ट कॉमन फॉर्म ऑफ फैक्टराइजिंग पॉलिनोमियल is called the middle term factorization dosto jisse we are, we are going to cover in subsequent webisodes so since abhi hum factor theorem ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain so we are going to factorize uh, this polynomial px using factor theorem 
So now those what we are going to do is now x square minus 8x plus 15 हमको ये है हमारी polynomial and हमें इसे दो factors में we have to find out. Now q दो and q नहीं तीन चार पांच दोस्तों. Now this is something we have discussed at length in the uh, in the uh, webisode जहाँ पे we talked a lot about um, what is a factor theorem and some of the details around it. So दोस्तों we recommend you please go take a look at that particular presentation. So now um, what we say is, we will say that, okay, um, let us assume that A and B, right, let A and B are, maan lijiye, roots of Px. So, so basically, we are going to start um, by saying that, maan lijiye, let us assume A and B are two values such that they are roots of polynomial Px. इसका मतलब ये हुआ दोस्तों that इसका मतलब ये हुआ that x minus a then will be a factor and similarly x minus b will be a factor right अगर a and b are roots of polynomial तो आपको मालूम है then what will happen is if a and b are roots of polynomial इसका मतलब ये है कि p a will be equal to zero and p b will be equal to zero right uh, so this is straight coming from the the remainder theorem and abhi abhi factor uh, factor theorem humne dekha ki agar p a is equal to 0 it means that x minus a is a factor and agar p b 0 hone se x minus b is a factor so basically uh, now uh, what we have is we are writing p x in terms of x minus a times x minus b abhi dosto let us expand this ye ban jayegi x square minus um, you will have actually minus bx and then agli, uske agli term hogi minus ax. So, agar aap co minus common lene se, you will get a plus b times x and then a minus a times minus b is plus ab. So, ye hai dosto aapki px which is hamari polynomial x square minus 8x plus 50. So, abhi pe dosto, we have um, we have basically a polynomial equation. Pe, this polynomial on the left hand side is equal to uh, the polynomial on the right hand side. Aapko hai, dosto, jab kabhi aisa hota hai, it means that all the terms, all the corresponding terms on both sides of the equation are equal. So, this basically matlab hai, dosto, ki ye jo aapki coefficient of x square hai, that should be same on both sides. Coefficient of x hai, that should be same on both sides. And the constant should be say, uh, same on both sides. So, chale, dosto, what we will do is we will take a b, and uh, we know then then a b will be basically equal to 15 plus 15, right? So, hume milti hai bhi, a b is equal to plus 15. Iska matlab ye hua dosto ki agar hum uh, a b if you multiply a b you get 15. So what we do right now here, is we are going to fact we are going to factorize or find the factors of 15. So if you know if you 15 ko aap, if you want to find out the factors, you will get 1, 3, and 5. Right? Now eight is also before we move forward, you must uh, make sure that you take not only the plus value but plus minus 1, plus minus 3, and plus minus 5. These are all the factors of 15. Aap pucho ke why are we taking the negative terms? Simply because dosto, agar aap, if you write minus 1 times minus 5, maan lije, aap, you can always write minus 1 times, um, actually let us, let us say this, um, minus 3 times minus 5, right? Agar aap minus 3 times minus 5 karte ho, you get 15, right? So, you must consider both the positive and the negative terms. Right. Abhi dosto, what we have to do is if you if you think about what the factor theorem is telling us is agar, agar now we find out at for any of these values, right? Yaha pe actually 1, 2, and 3. So teen value hai and then we have a plus minus. So 3 plus 3, 6 values. In che value mein dosto, agar we find out the two values for which the polynomial at those values become 0, then we can exactly tell what are those two factors. So, we do at this point? We start uh, a trial and error process 
and we start finding out the value of this polynomial at each of these six values. So chale, we will start with the first one, so p minus 1. So p minus 1, those are hai minus 1 square, which is aapki x square, minus 8x minus 1 plus 15. So minus 1 square will be 1, minus 8 times minus 1 will be plus 8 plus 15. So this is definitely not equal to 0. So, so pe, now aap ek aur cheez, as you go through these, aap, you have to be very attentive. Ek aur cheez, aap notice kije, dosto, agar in this particular polynomial, the way this polynomial is given, aapne agar negative value li hai minus 1, usse square karne se you get a positive value, right? Abhi 8 is a negative 8, iske saath agar aap ek negative number multiply karte ho, so that will become positive. Iska matlab hai, you will get one positive here, you will get one positive here and you have plus 15. So, this means that dosto, all of these negative terms basically will not make this polynomial 0. So, this is a very important observation hai, dosto, because we have to trial and error karni hai all the che values. Ko. If we can eliminate some of these values, that will help save, save us time. So, abhi, dosto, what we will do is instead of now minus 1, now we will try plus 1. So, agar aap, if you want to find out the value of polynomial at plus 1, so this becomes x square minus 8x plus 15 equal to now 1 square is a 1 8 times 1 is minus 8 plus 15 so you have also 15 plus 1 1 plus 15 16 minus 8 is 8 and it is again not equal to 0 so this means that these are not the uh, factors we are looking for Abhi we are going to take the value 3. Next factor is 3, right? Agar 3 lete hai dosto, we get 3 square minus 8 times 3 plus 15. So 3 square, some, uh, 3 squares are 9, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 8 times 3 is 24 plus 15. So, now we add positive terms. Ko add kar lete 15 plus 9 is 24. And then we have minus 24. So, those bingo. We got the value. Jaha pe 24 minus 24 is 0. So, now we have one value. P3. P at x equal to 3. Jiske liye P3 becomes 0. So, at this point, those we can say. Yaha pe, we can say that x minus 3 is one of the factors of this polynomial. So, we have factors. So, we have found our first factor, x minus 3. Right? So, those we are going to continue to see what is our next factor. Abhi, we only have 5 left. So, let us, let us try 5. So, p5 will be 5 square minus 8 times 5 plus 15. So, 5 square ka matlab hai 5 times 5 which is 25. Minus 8 times 5 is minus 40 plus 15. So, abhi positive terms ko pehle add karte hai. 25 time plus 15 is 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. So, dosto, we, we see that for p equal to 3, for p3 and p5 basically we are getting the value is 0 so from factor theorem it is telling us that is ka matlab ye hai x minus 3 and in this case x minus 5 are the two factors that we are looking for 